Gorgeous Doll has a message for Lotto. So, Gorgeous Doll stated that allegedly last year, I think it was last year sometime, um, Lotto had a party at the strip club and when Lotto came, she, of course, throw a lot of money. However, Lotto lost a small wallet and Gorgeous Doll stated that the money that Big Lotto threw, that allegedly um, Lotto picked the money up and basically took the money that she threw away um, she picked the money up and took the money that she threw at the strippers away from them. So, of course, um, Gorgeous Doll spoke out about Lotto picking the money up, allegedly. And I think Gorgeous Doll got fired, if I'm not mistaken. So, ever since then, Gorgeous Doll and Big Lotto has been into it. So, as you know, Big Lotto just released an album in... And one of her songs, she stated, you know, you better stick to TikTok. So, of course, someone sent that song to Gorgeous Doll. And Gorgeous Doll was like, either she's the Lulu or she think that Big Lotto is talking to her when she stated, you better stick to TikTok. So, of course, Gorgeous Doll has a message for Lotto. And this is exactly what Gorgeous Doll had to say. Now, if you guys remember the story again um, a while ago where Big Lotto had a party at the strip club and she lost her wallet. So, she allegedly took the money that she threw back from the strippers. And um, I think Gorgeous Doll allegedly got fired. So, yeah. So, Gorgeous Doll also stated that she sent somebody at Big Lotto man and i'm going to also post the screenshots that i got out of her comment section when someone asked her if big lotto man was 21 savage and of course gorgeous doll liked the comment but anyway this is what gorgeous doll had to say but if you guys have heard about this beef that's going on between lotto and gorgeous doll comment your thoughts below and let me know what you guys think listen so i got this song sent to me the big mama part two where she's like hope it's it's this song okay this is what you do shade whatever okay at first i was like am i delusional no i'm not delusional bitch you were that mad okay and it's really insane like insane how you have beef with a stripper you can't even beef with the bitches in your own lane and you want to beef over here like make it make sense whole better stick to tiktok and i mean that with all disrespect right and my main question is are we still on this and then why are you taking shots to me like i am a retired stripper my job was to argue and fight with bitches every day about money so it's like where's this gonna go are we gonna get in the field are you mad like let me tell you okay i got my lick back in silence okay a week after that situation i call my home girl who knows her uh -uh, and i said girl catch the body for me <laughs> get in the field because you got on live you started ah, da, 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 talking shit throwing shots whatever okay cool then you was on twitter trying to be funny guess what that got your nigga fucked i got my leg back already sweetheart leave me alone because this is not gonna go anywhere you want it to go you literally are promoting an album right now right you're going all over the world promoting an album you're going on strip clubs okay now let me tell you what that means one that means that i know where you're going to be at okay i run doll house i have the number one stripper mentorship stripper platform stripper discord in the world okay strippers from all over the world are a part of my mentorship that means that when you do a walkthrough when you walk in a club i know where you're at unlike you you ain't never gonna know where i'm at so it's like just like play it safe because all this going back and forth back and forth for what because you took some money from some bitches and you mad that i told people i'm i'm team stripper i'm always gonna defend the girls in the club i don't care if it's a drama club or regular club whatever but you need to stay in line and argue with rappers argue with ice argue with Nicki minaj argue with well we know you won't do that but argue with whoever else is in your lane but stay the fuck out of mine just remember, you're about to go on a press run. You're going to be in strip clubs. You're going to be around strippers who are a part of Dollhouse, the company I own. Play it safe. Like I said, like my lick already got handled. I don't got to do a story time or nothing. I said what I said. Now, if you found out about my home, blah, 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 with your, blah, 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 and that's what you're mad about, I digress. 
Not really though, bitch, because your nigga could get fucked again. And again and again and again. He has a stripper fetish. I'm sure you know that. 